KG automatic top loader washing machine. Wow, I'm so excited! Woo! <laughs> Hello guys, so what you do at this point is to pull off this styrofoam so that uh, this uh, machine can easily move so that this motor can uh, move and now and now replace it with this stuff you see it's written so this is what you use so don't forget before you 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 plug in this washing machine make sure that you pull off this if not by the time you switch it on it may damage the motor or it may not allow this motor to need to move so this is what you need to do so you pull it off then you now slide this inside you now have it inside like this um, okay you have to slide it through the base you have to go like this so you see, this is it. Don't, don't worry now, don't worry, don't be in it. Uh, this screw, you have to use it down here just to fasten this. You have to use it down here just to fasten this cover beneath. So this is it, the final screw, just to make sure the whole bottom is well screwed and fastened. Okay. So so I had to get the screw from uh, this manual. Uh, it was uh, placed inside the package, inside this package. So these are the kits that came with it. You have the U-shape uh, pipes. You have um, two pipes, I guess. Yeah, two pipes for hot and cold. I'll show you. I'll show you where they stop. Yes. Yeah, so this is it. This is for hot. This is for cold. This is for hot. So um, you have to um, uh, uh, communicate to your plumber so you could you could create that hot and cold. But nevertheless, if you if you have just for the cold water, you can use for the cold water. So this is for inlet water. So this takes the water inside your washing machine. So, and this is also this is also for the outlet, which is um, for this area where you would have a knob that is closing this up. Then you use it to. You get so this is the outlet that takes water out from the washing machine. So I will show you guys how you can put this, um, how you connect this in the next video. So stay tuned. 
Hey, hi guys yes um so so i had to create this uh for the washing machine and please remember to make sure that you have a very flat uh, surface or a flat like a flat ground where you can um place the washing machine please and also avoid water from touching it you can see this is the bathroom and uh, so we didn't want to have the washing machine inside so to avoid water from touching the machine so um, there's also um, uh, it's also said in the instructional manual that do not allow water to touch the body so you have to take it away from the bathroom so to avoid water touching the main engine so um, so this is the connection I had to do uh, myself we did it ourselves um, so we had to go to the plum uh, to a plumber shop and we bought this uh, T junction. We bought the elbow. Then we, we had to convert uh, from from the quarter to half inch pipe. So this is it, and this is where the water. This is where we can actually control the water, apart from the washing machine controlling the water. So um, it has a water controller in inbuilt, but then we we just wanted to have our own. Uh, control system in case if something fails and all that so this is what we did and i'll show you guys how we can um, install this effectively <music> That this is turned clockwise to this point it helps the water outlet so this is where we have the water outlet and we have to fix this to it uh, better still you can use depending on where you're staying but i prefer this this is an angle pipe it helps the water to so just help the water to drain up from this angle you get so from this angle, it will help the water to drain out from this angle. So okay, yes. So guys, um, this is the connection I did. I told you guys I went to the plumber place and uh, plumber workshop. I had to buy this myself. So you can DIY this. So uh, let us know if you want a DIY on how you can. Uh, create this or make um, uh, make a provision for your washing machine your automatic washing machine then we can do that video but for this video we'll just show you how you can do the connection so uh, this is how we had to construct it the tap and this so, so the controller then we had to send it out to the tube uh, <laughs> we call it tube here or you can call it um, the flexible pipe uh, so we we'll now did this connection so we can have water to our washing machine so this is it so we also had to do this connection and so this is our washing machine so we're about to install it right now so stay tuned okay hi guys so um this is the connection we did uh with the flexible pipe and and this is also the pipe that came with uh, the washing machine so you have to screw them but then make, uh, make sure you get um, there's this in the cut thread white um, kind of nylon the type but you can substitute it with a nylon bag uh, so you can cut them pieces and have it rolled on this thread so so this is it um, so to avoid leaking waters uh, so, 
so 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 you have to fasten it tight so you won't have okay, water okay so that's it then uh remember i did it has two area for hot and cold uh, but i told you the other time that we'll be making use of the cold water since we don't have a little bit of hot water so we'll just make use of the cold water area so thank you for this okay so we have to put this in and put it on yes so let's see if it works okay 